you asked to be his finger. Bowed beneath, above, about. You, a twitching part of the hand of a time god in blood red coat. You, imprisoned, puppet to a body in ever snow, but sickness free. Your prayers answered. Pneumonia cannot kill you if you need no lungs to breathe. It's the cycle of godhood, a divine body shaped from conscious parts. You craved immortality when death knocked on your door. And you were granted the gift. But an immortal peon must be communal to keep a god's corporeal form. And this god? The children need. Shackled to Christmas, your three joints creak with bag-carrying ache. Gift-giving in a time-locked, frozen world. Your milk-softened skin burned after scraping rough chimneys, easing the fat god down fireplaces. In the North Pole, you expected rest after the purgatory. But that's not the case. That time god is a male who spent an eternity across Eve's sky with only reindeers. But a male has needs, as does his god wife. She's the maker of the naughty list. And every year, her own name ranks first. She's the one that sees when you're sleeping, the one that knows when you're awake. Through fleshy sounds, you and your neighbors become cloaked with white, vestigial mucus. None as caked in it as you. That's what it means to be the finger of Santa when Mrs. Claus spreads naughty legs. Worse yet, to be the middle one.